All right, guys. Uh, before we get into this next hunt, I just wanted to kind of preface it a little bit and just tell you, uh, I don't know how much this hunt means to me. Probably one of the most special hunts I've had uh, as long as I've been bow hunting turkeys. Now, I've, I've hunted public land a lot growing up and I've uh, been fortunate to kill a lot of turkeys on public land with a shotgun, but to hunt public land with a bow without a blind and the whole self-filming aspect, you know, uh, really hard to do. It's, it's a lot of adversity to overcome. Uh, a lot of stuff's gotta fall right in line. Um, I'm getting some coffee ready tonight because I get to start back filming and hunting turkeys. I'm gonna be taking my dad in the morning to public land and I haven't been able to hunt pretty much this whole last week. Today's April 12th, I believe. I hadn't hunted since April 8th because um, I've been editing. I'm trying to catch up on all this stuff. So anyhow, hope you all enjoy the video. If you do, please like it, share it, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I'm posting hunts. we got some stuff coming up this next week. I'm going to be hunting in Georgia a lot, taking people, filming. Well, also, uh, like I've said before, I'm going to hunt with Catman Outdoors, Jonathan Bohm. He killed a monster today in Tennessee, so go check out his YouTube channel, and uh, God bless. Enjoy. All right, well, here's the situation. I just got out of public. Oh. Just found a set of fresh gobble tracks. A lot of fresh gobble tracks in here. Holy. Man, there is a ton of gobble tracks in here. These are pretty fresh. Very fresh. I can still see where the I mean, this was made this afternoon. Betcha he'll gobble. Anyhow, I was riding down this uh, road and I saw a bunch of turkeys pitch across the highway. And they were pitching across right back in here to where I'm going. I'm accessing it from a different area. But this seems to have a bunch of sign. And this is a spot that I scouted earlier in the year. before the season to open and I found a gobbler over here. It's really gonna be one of those situations where I gotta be the first one at the gate. Gotta get here really early uh, and then hunter etiquette will take its course hopefully. But I'm already seeing gobbler tracks. I'm probably gonna hoot right here and just see what happens. Gobble tracks all down this road right here. Those are made today. As you can tell, here's a hen. See, that's not rained in. You got a gobble track right there. Anyhow, I just heard this perk gobble. There's gobble tracks all over the place right here. So I'm gonna roost him. Well, I've already got him roosted, but I just need to figure out exactly where he's at. Not sure if he's gonna come down this road or if he's gonna go down another cut. The gobbler tracks right here suggest that he's gonna take this road in the morning. This is the direction all the hens flew across the road at. So bend and I'll check him again. Sounds like he's back up in the 
this creek. There's some water in there. It's a food pot right here. Well, it wasn't so called a food pot. It's more of an opening. This is where I suspect he's going to come from. This is actually the exact same spot that I heard that bird scouting for the season. Big tall oaks in here. food plot in the morning. I don't want to get too close, but I want to show y'all. set up over here off this edge probably call him straight out he'll probably he's probably gonna fly down out into this food plot might be better for me to set up off the road we'll see I'll be in here in the morning it's looking good let's try one more time another bird on down there's an, there's two there's one on down there there's one right here listen one more time Time is boss. I know what day it is. I guess I should probably check that. So I can give y'all an accurate log into the journal. It's April 8th. Got to the public late yesterday evening. Had some other things I had to do, and uh, I got there in time because I just kept picking my way down and I roosted two birds. They're not that far from each other. I think one is probably, and I'm, I'm gonna show you on the map right now just a general idea. This is not the spot that I'm at, but this is a good idea. So you've got like this little road and then you've got a turkey down one side of the creek. And then you've got another turkey down the other side of the creek. And what I did is I went in and I want to be in between both those turkeys. That way, one of these birds, based on my scouting, uh, if you look on this map, this is another general idea, all the tracks are you know, to the, I guess, let's call it this way, because I don't know which way is north on this map that y'all are going to be looking at. But all the tracks are going this way, and all of them are leading. They're, all, the, all the birds are gradually, progressively easing their way up towards these fields. All right, so that's a good idea just to show you. But anyhow, that's, I already know based on my scouting where the turkeys want to go to. Uh... So, there's two ways in here. I think I'm on the right side. So, 
not gonna call much. I called a little bit last night just to let them kind of let it simmer on them all night long that there's a hen over there. I do that sometimes. It's, it's, it's a tactic I use on putt land sometimes. I'll cluck just a little bit when he's gobbling on the limb and when I roost him, and then I won't say a word. So this morning I might shuffle around on the limb with a wing uh, and I might tree up maybe once. I'll wait for him to get on the ground in this situation because uh, I think he's already going to come my way anyhow. So that's what we're dealing with. It's 422. Hey, you're probably asking yourself, why is this guy up at 420 and don't get a light till 630? Well, you got to get there early to beat people to the spot. This hunter etiquette kicks in. It's supposed to. If I'm there first, well, then I've I got that whole little stretch of road right there to hunt. It's not a ton of land in there, maybe 150, 200 acres on that little section. But if I'm there first, that's mine to hunt. Hopefully, somebody will reciprocate the way I do it. If I see somebody parked somewhere, I'll go somewhere else. So, we'll see. This time you see me, I'll be setting up on a tree. Hopefully, should be listening to at least two birds gobbling. See you then. on top of me. He rolls up late. Comes strolling in right on top of my boot tracks. Unbelievable. No. Believable. That's what you gotta deal with with public land. This guy's calling. Coming right in on top of me. Got here late. It's public land. There's a bird gobbling way on down this branch, like a bunch. This gobbler right here has only gobbled a handful of times. But I know he knows where I'm at. I did some tree yelping right off the roost here. Just a little bit of tree yelping. He gobbled one time. I shut it down and said another word. I don't know where he's at, but I'm just gonna stay seated.
public land. It's all God. Dear Lord above, you get every ounce of credit. I can't even describe, man. Georgia. Oh, man, y'all been wanting to say these words for a minute. Last year, I tagged out before I could really get to start hunting the public a lot. And, um, man, I'm going to tell y'all, this year, I wanted to save a tag for Georgia public land. And uh, to kill one with a bow with no blind, self filmed on public land in Georgia, of all places. Man, I'm at a loss for words, y'all. I mean, I don't know what else to say other than it ain't nothing I've done, man. It's, it's a God thing, and if you don't know him, you just don't understand. I don't know how else to put it. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Man, y'all. I'm going to enjoy this one. Just a beautiful specimen. Beautiful bird. A beautiful bird God created. Something about it, man. Just doesn't get any better than spring for me. And I don't know, I think the one of the biggest things to this was I called these turkeys like a tree yelp the night before and just let it sit with them. Specifically this this turkey. This turkey didn't gobble but maybe three times off the roost. And uh, had that hunter come in on me. Uh, as you saw, he kind of got these birds spooky. I think this turkey putted uh, one time and I just let it calm down. I knew this turkey knew where I was at. There's no need to call anymore. And I'm sitting here not paying attention with my face mask off. The next thing I know, I, I, I hear that sound and you'll know what I'm talking about if you turkey in enough. It's that real soft, very soft, aggressive purr. It's barely audible. I heard it twice just sitting here, just like this. And I said, that's a, that's a turkey. And I peeked over at the decoy and nothing was there. So then I'm, I peeked a little bit harder and he's sitting there out of the frame, full strut, white head, just full strut. And I was like, wow. So he comes up the decoy, sits there for a while. As you saw, he acts a little spooky, so he starts walking off. At that point, he strutted away from me. I was able to get my face mask on, fumbling with the camera, getting the GoPro on, the main camera on, zoomed in to, to him, and you saw the rest. But I don't know, that guy, he almost messed me up, but the good Lord saw it fit to let it all pan out. And it's nothing I've done really, it's just being in the right place at the right time. And the Lord surely blessed me this morning. It's been an unbelievable season. I wish I could, as they say, <sighs> wish I could breathe life back into you, old buddy. You did good today. Something about it.